But anyway, looking, starting to look at those two games. A big game this weekend. A very big game. Mm -hmm. Manchester City versus Newcastle. FA Cup quarterfinal. How are we feeling? <laughs> I'm in a weird position because obviously the last game we played against Liverpool, my, my, my thing around that was big and stepping up and Joe, we had to... I feel like we say that a lot this yeah, season. I felt like we had to win that game and we didn't see City anywhere near our best or anywhere near a version of our best. Um, so now going to this game, I don't want to just recycle that same speech of we need to be at our best. I, I know Newcastle aren't really doing well at the moment. They're having a bit of a wobble. Uh, they got beat off Chelsea the other day. Um, I think with it being knockout, I think it's going to be a really difficult game. Mm. Really difficult. Yeah. I also don't want to re-up that speech because it feels like we've won. It feels like we're not we've said repetitively. Singing the same tune all the time. Having said that, this is a big game. Huge game and we need to get up <laughs> for it. We need to get up for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, but but it, it's true though. It's just true. We do need to get up for this game. It goes game. without saying at this point. Yeah. I feel like we don't need to say it because it goes without saying it. It's an FA Cup quarter final. It's a chance to win a major trophy. Mm -hmm. At this point in the season, I kind of feel like it might have a positive effect on other parts of our season, i.e. the Premier League and the Champions League. If we can like push on and get to a semi-final, um, you know, everything everything adds together psychologically. You get through another round of a cup. It it puts in put you puts you in a positive mindset elsewhere. Yeah, definitely. Um Newcastle not in the best of form. That's one, I guess, positive for us. You just kind of said it does it go out of the window with it being a cup. Like, does form go completely out of the window with it being an FA Cup? I don't know. I think derbies, like I always say, yeah, on that. So, and that feels like a one off game always, like, because you isolate it. And this will be, this is a one off game that'll be isolated. I think I've said Eddie Howe want to do bits in this. Um, I mean, fortunately, we've been on the right side of Eddie Howe's career, like obviously when he was at Bournemouth and then I was, but with Newcastle, I feel like we, there's a lot of draws creeping in there recently. Um, a few draws, yeah. And we can't draw this game. Not physically possible. Not possible. And is it from the quarters onwards that it goes to extra time penalties? Couldn't or? tell you. Couldn't tell you with all the new formats. Yeah, now. the only yeah, formats. I'm but I, I can't, basically, I can't remember if they scrapped the replays from quarterfinals onwards or not. I'm pretty sure they've, sc they've scrapped replays but yes, so it'll... it's not like the Carabao Cup where it just goes straight straight to pens. pens. It's extra time it? and pens, extra yeah. times and pens. Yeah. So there's a potential of that happening, but someone's got to win. Um, I, I I think he'll go all out for it. Um, like I say, just got beat off Chelsea, not having a good time. Yeah, needs to just go for it. Need, they need to. Do you know how we were saying like the wounded animal kind of thing? Where the wrong times we're playing Manchester City is when we've just been beat or just dropped points because we'll want to bounce back. Like I think they'll be in that kind of frame of mind as well. Well, the one thing that I would say is kind of feel like for Newcastle, their season rests on this in a weird way. They're not finishing top four. No. It doesn't look like they're finishing the, in the European places at all yeah. with the way things are going. Mm -hmm. They've got a long, long injury list. So it, it, it's proper not their year. I, I, I saw a quote the other day. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Jamie Carragher who said it looks like Newcastle are ready for their season to end. Like, they're yeah. begging for it now. They're like, oh, we just want this to be over. Well, the injury list just keeps getting bigger. Obviously, they're not getting the results. Yeah. For them, it's just stop the count. Yeah. So, their their only hope now of, Resting. of, of counting this season as a success is, is like, I'd say, getting to an FA Cup final or winning an mm -hmm. FA Cup. Not that I don't say it's a complete failure. Three years ago, obviously, Newcastle were in a much worse situation. But, but with their expectations of the fans and sort of what Eddie Howe's built now... They want to be competing for European places. That doesn't seem to be sort of the outcome that we're going to get this season. Yeah. They want to have a really strong squad. They've got a lot of injuries going on. Obviously, the Carabao Cup's been and gone. Like, it it, mean, it will mean a lot to them this weekend. And I'm not saying yeah, it won't definitely. to us. But, um, you know, I'm just putting it in the perspective of for, for Newcastle, if I'm if I'm trying to think of, well, where's the bite for the enemy? Like, what, what, what did they, what's the jeopardy for them in this game? Cup games are always important, but maybe sometimes when your season completely rests on it, it's a bit more important. Mean more again. It mean it again. means more. It means more, more FC, FC. It? you know. But but who knows? I mean, what are your? I I, I won't go as as far as say predictions at this point, like in terms of score. But what from what you saw at the weekend, are you are you feeling like City will bounce straight back? I mean, I'd like to hope so. I'd like to hope that we can put in a 
a more controlling performance, a, a performance that is more like City. That's the other word that we've thrown about. Yeah, right, or control, control. Control. I'm sick of begging for control. Mm. Yeah, but just a more City-like performance is what I'd, I'd expect from City after that. Because the Liverpool game was not like City at all. Um, the only thing that you could say is like City is that we, yet again, have not won at Anfield. The rest of it was that very not City. Yeah, that's very consistent. The rest of it just was not City-like. You know what I mean? We didn't dominate the ball. Did, did nothing that we're used to seeing. I think against Newcastle, I think City will really want to retain that, bring that back. Yeah. Start to play at our own pace. Um, last time we played Newcastle, we've seen, I think they'll, they'll try to set up very similar. They'll be doing them balls over the top, like to Isak and Anthony mm. Gordon. They'll try, they'll try basically that kind Which of thing. Which Because it worked. Yeah. It worked. It Obviously, worked I know we, we, we walked away with the three points. So Oscar Bob, last minute winner. Just about. But just about, like you say. So I just think they'll set up the same, counter attack us. And I think we'll get a lot of the ball. But I just hope we kind of showed up a little bit more than the Liverpool game. Because Liverpool just, it wasn't it. We, like I said, not since they had a shot for ages. Yeah, it was bad. I want to say that's it. You're going to win. So you're going to win. So you're gonna I, I win. back us. I back I'm, man, I'm manifesting it. It's um, after a performance like Liverpool, kind of feels like you're reaching into the unknown. As to, like, it kind of feels like you're reaching into a magician's hat and you don't know what you're going to pull out with City. Yeah. Is sometimes we've seen it in the past where we've had results like that Liverpool game, and not even necessarily the results, just like the actual game itself, where we weren't in control, where we have a real off day, where we have a bit of a stinker, and then the next game we come back and we're firing on all cylinders, and we've also had games where that then carries on. So it's like I really, mm. I really don't know what we're going to get. I genuinely feel like it, it could go one of two ways. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I agree with that. It's we have reached into the unknown in this previous season. You look at it and go, yeah, we'll bounce back. Oh yeah, yeah. This season is just so. You said it in the last podcast. Inconsistent. Yeah, you're just going from loads of different gears all the time. You don't know where we're at. You don't yeah. know where we stand. Even when we're going to a good run of form, mm. or like we're, we're going like on a winning we run or anything. A weird result. You, you still don't really know where we're at yet. Yeah. We don't know if, if we're at our best. No, I, I, like I thought for us a couple of weeks ago, the Luton game was the turning point. I was certain Free flowing it. football. That's some of the best football I've seen the best this football. season. That is the best football I've seen from us it, this it season. It was sort of the movement. Yeah. Everything, everything just clicked into place. Yeah, and we spoke about it at the time. Yes, you can say it's Luton, but like the movement off the ball was mm-hmm. just incredible. It was the best I've seen us play this season. And when I saw that game, I thought, this is it. This is where mm-hmm. we click into gear. And then we had that first half against United. It wasn't terrible per se, but it was just a bit less fluid. And I was like, okay, well, we still came away with a win. Yeah. And the second half performance was decent. But it wasn't as good as the Luton game, but it is United and it's Derby Day, so it's a one off, so who knows? And then we have the Liverpool game, and I go, oh, no, we're back to being rubbish again. But like, that, the Liverpool was like rock bottom rubbish. Just like right? inconsistently terrible and not have any idea what's happening, and, and Man City looking like they're Bolton Wanderers in 2013 and just <laughs> knocking the ball up the pitch constantly. <laughs> yeah. Throwing and digs it, at Bolton there for some yeah, reason. Just, just the first team I came into. Shade my out, head. Minute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, nearly went to a game the other day but I know we did we did we did we nearly went uh, we were going to have to go to one yeah. also the home form is impeccable at the moment so. is it? Yeah, yeah. did they win last night? yeah yeah fuming could have been there I, I literally seen it before I was like <laughs> fuck fuming yeah yeah so um, I, I think we'll get the win I don't want to be the guy to say it again but I just hope that it is the start of us knocking into fun, some form but actually it won't be because we'll have the international break then anyway so let's just end on a positive note before the international break is my opinion get the win yeah. get through to the semi-finals and then we can worry about all the f- final third of the season um, yeah you can worry about the running then we can worry about that after the international yeah. break yeah, exactly. see, see what what plays come back oh, hopefully they all come back injury free but see what how we turn up after the international break see who's fit then we can look ahead to Arsenal then and just like really focus on that and the rest of the season and yeah. try and figure out where we go from there. 